Hi and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you the process of cleaning this corsa, which did have a decent amount of dirt build up. So I started the process by looking at the arches, so I gave the wheels and the arches good blast down and then went in with dual nitty gritty, which is also what I'll be using as a pre-wash today. And I went in with a 10% concentration of this in the IK sprayer and used this in combination with a fairly stiff brush to give the arches a good scrub. I then moved on to the tyres and for this I used PS Brake Buster which I do actually really really like as a tyre cleaner. It does do well on most wheels even if they're fairly dirty in just a single hit so it is quite an effective product. On the alloy faces I used Infinity Wax Incinerate, so this is an alkaline wheel cleaner and it's actually diluted 25 to 1 here, so very very weak solution of this, but it actually did a really effective job at cleaning the alloys still. So I used this in combination with the Cos Race Car Box brush on the alloy faces and then my Easy Brush on the barrels. So you might be wondering why I'm not using PS Brake Buster here and it's purely just because I wanted to give this one a try and show a different product. But PS Brake Buster would have done a good job here as well. Once I'd tackled all four wheels, it was then time to move on to the paintwork and I just started by giving it a blast down to remove all the loose dirt and debris that could have been easily lifted away using the pressure washer before proceeding with any chemicals. So as I said earlier, I used that 10% mixture of dual nitty gritty in the IK sprayer and I allowed that to dwell for 5 minutes as it was quite a cool day so I could get away with that dwell time before it actually dried out. This is a pretty potent product which does have really good cleaning ability. Just a reminder as well, if you are enjoying the video so far, it would be fab if you could drop it a like, it really is appreciated and does help to support the channel. For the contact wash today, I am using Turtle Wax's new shampoo. So this is one that they did very kindly send to me. So I used it at around sort of 1 in 10 dilution here, roughly. Trying and failing not to spill it all when I actually pour it into the foam cannon. So this is a product that you can just use in the buckets, or you can do what I'm doing here, and coat the car in a layer of the foam, and then proceed with the contact wash as normal. I do still like to use two buckets, so that's why I still sprayed some into the bucket, and foam that up so that I had a little bit on the mist as well. So the first things that I did notice about the product was that it does have a really nice cherry scent that does come through when you're actually washing the vehicle and it also does feel incredibly slick when you're using this method of snow foaming the car and shampooing it with a decent mitt. 
the film itself has a good cling time as well so even when I was filming I didn't have to rush too much to get around the vehicle. So it is reasonably expensive if you do go for this method of filming the entire car. So you're probably going to need around 50mm into 450mm of water to cover an entire vehicle. And at the time of making this video it is £20 for a 1.42 litre bottle of this. So that's working out as around just less than 30 washes, so around sort of 70 pence per wash. If you use it in the standard bucket method and don't foam the car, then they recommend around 60 to 90 mil of product into a 20 litre bucket, which is quite a high amount of product. Usually I look for shampoos that are closer to sort of 25 mil. So it is reasonably expensive when you look at it with these dilution ratios. I think there also is a possibility though to knock down this spray show a little bit because you can see here that the foam is really really thick and probably a little bit thicker than it actually needs to be so you might get away with using a little bit less of the product. So being a foaming product I was a little bit confused when I first saw it I was thinking is this going to be a pre-wash but having looked at how Turtle Wax did demonstrate it this is a product that you would use for the contact wash so I know that some people do skip the pre-wash and then foam the car like this and go in with the mitts I personally don't do that as I do think the pre-wash is important to remove a lot of dirt before the contact wash to make the process safer. Once I clean the car with the mitt I've then used some brushes so I've got a Because Race Car Box brush which I use for the plastics and the rubber and then I also have a GV detailing brush which I use on the badges. Once I'd rinsed down the vehicle, I then just proceeded to dry it using this towel from Because Race Car Box. The car has no protection on it at this stage, so it was a case of trying to make the best of it. And I do like using a patting technique rather than swiping at the panel. And I was going in with a method of protection afterwards that would clear up any water spots if there were any, but luckily there wasn't really much of an issue with that. So the protection of choice today was Infinity Wax QDX Graphene, which I haven't actually used on a full vehicle transformation, but I have done a comparison video with a few other sort of hybrid quick detailers. And I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to see things like durability and water behaviour, particularly compared to other quite popular products. So I use this product on a microfiber applicator pad. Once you prime the pad, you really don't need that much to keep on top of it and to move to the next panel. So just an additional spray is fine. So I left this to haze over for five minutes before just buffing it off with a sharp pile microfiber towel. It was quite easy to buff off except on the bonnet where I used a little bit too much of the product to start with where it took a little bit more effort but luckily I didn't over apply the product on the other panels so it was very very easy to buff off. For the tyres I used GB Detailing's Onyx which is a sprayable tyre dressing and I thought this would leave a really nice finish on these, I didn't want something that was going to be too distracting as they are quite chunky tyres already and I also used this product on the wheel arches just to give them a more of a darkening effect. If you do like these kind of videos and you are new to the channel, I'll pop a link on screen to another one of my vehicle transformations. 
you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop it a like. Subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.